Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to create a video or several videos actually on how I use Tana. Um, I'm hoping that if I have time, I will make at least three. And uh, the first one will be on task management. Uh, the second one hopefully will deal with how I manage and track my meetings. And the third one will be on how I use Tana for my flavor of Zettel casting, um, uh, which I actually stole from uh, a guy named Bo from when I was still using a Rome research. But let's start with the first video about how I manage my tasks. Um, I will assume some basic knowledge of how you use Tana. Uh, so I won't explain everything. Um, but if you have any questions, you can just leave them on this video and I'll try to answer them. I created a mostly empty workspace called Tana videos, which you see in front of you um, that we'll be using for these videos and we'll build on them uh, as we move along. The only thing I got in here is the text that I actually use in my own system, uh, but no content. So let's start there. Um, I use Tana mostly uh, to structure my work life. So many of my tasks and meetings are with coworkers. Um, and so let's start and, and start by adding some of these. Um, I'll use GDP, GTP3, uh, OpenAI's fabulous tool to generate some content. So let's get started. So generate 10 random, uh, let's be multicultural uh, cultural names. Okay, let's select that. Um, let's give that a second. And that looks okay. And we'll add those. We'll remove this one. We'll select all of it. Uh, do this and add the tag coworker. Okay, great start. So now we have some people to actually work with in our next steps. Um, the next step would be to create some work for ourselves. So let's start by doing some fake work. Uh, we'll do something similar. Uh, let's say generate 10 to do's. Uh, where do we work? We're manager. Uh, at Twitter um, and each tagged with uh, to do uh, let's do that I to do at the end okay let's see this takes a little bit longer <laughs> didn't work let's retry that and do it again maybe the AI sometimes does it, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Okay, let's add those. Um, we can remove the prompt. And here we go. So now we have some actual work and some actual to do's. Let's collab this one for now because I'll start uh, explaining how I structure my work from here on. So we're in a workspace and we have a couple of things open. So first, my people, which I just showed, there's all of the people there. And I have a query um, that shows all of the open tasks, which basically gets all of the tasks that we just created there in a live query. Because normally, of course, I would create these tasks throughout my work in meetings, etc., or on different places. Um, as you can see, all of the, the items that um, the AI generated are now here. And if you look at the query, um, there's a couple of things in there. So first, it shows my to-dos. It also shows my meetings, which is something I, I think I stole from, um, from someone at, um, uh, from Slack. So if I miss a meeting, uh, we'll explain more about meetings. It will also show up in my work so I can reschedule it. And I also track open and outstanding questions. For now, uh, this is all I need to explain for this. Um, I actually plan my work usually at the start of the week. And at that point, I make a weekly plan. So let's get started there. Let's make a weekly plan for 2022 and uh, 48. As you can see, it auto tags it as a weekly plan. That's because this is a query that simply looks for weekly plans. Um, so not too much magic there, but it works like a charm. If you look in, there's a couple of stuff in the, the super tag that I want to point out. So first, I start by adding the purpose uh, for that week, my, like my big goal. So this week, for instance, is record some Tana videos. I also select usually how busy I am. 
um, mostly because I tend to want to keep a little bit of a level of how how bad I'm doing or how good I'm doing actually. Uh, I stole these from Michael uh, Michael Lop uh, rants on on Twitter, and he has seven levels of busyness, which is a good way for me to sort of okay, where am I today? Next up, you see another open task. This is actually a reference to the same note and the same query that was before there. And this is the basic stuff of how I schedule my week. As you can see, I have my tasks here. And uh, from here, I simply go out and see, okay, which task do I want to do this week? And I do that by shift tabbing them out of this list into the parent and they show up below here. So I'll select a few tasks that I actually want to do this week. And when I selected everything I want to do, I simply close this and I select all of the to do's here and I tab them into the tasks field. Now the task is simply a note that is part of the weekly plan. The next step would be to check my inbox. And the inbox is actually a special note where I connected an API uh, token to it, where I can send stuff from my phone. Uh, at the moment, I think Tana only supports textual input. So these things usually uh, they come as text, but I tend to convert them to to-dos when I'm here anyway. So uh, watch this and then tag that as a to-do. And what I usually also do is if this is actually a link, I'll simply just copy it and paste it in so it's actually a proper link. Then again, I shift tab it out and I tab it back in. Uh, and it's on my list. Uh, as you can see, this was, um, uh, since it puts it there using the API, and it's the actual node that was there. And when you tap out of it, it actually leaves the inbox kind of clean and, uh, and unfolded again. Next up, um, my step would be to categorize everything. Um, I have a special hotkey for that. Basically, I uh, do a command X and I set the context of each of these things. So for instance, in this case, um, let's do encourage team collaboration, uh, that's focus work, celebrate team success, focus work, help team members set goals, maybe that's uh, administrative, hold team members one-on-one, -on -one, which is scheduling, um, and uh, let's do this one as administrative. Now, these are of course not correct. And one of the things you've also see is that we sort of miss some stuff here. So because there's some sort of Thing happening in Tana that when you add stuff and the group wasn't there or the context wasn't there, it doesn't show it. So after I do the categorization, I just send, usually just reset the grouping here and it all works out. So this is about what you work. You also see that one of these tasks is already in here and that's how I solve recurring tasks for every week for now until Tana natively supports the recurring tasks. By having a, a sort of standard task, which is part of the weekly plan uh, super tag, um, I don't forget doing this one. Uh, for now, I have to manually remember that it's on Wednesdays, but um, it still, it works. The next step would be um, to, to add some other level of detail. Uh, some of these things, um, there's two things I tend to do. And one of them is if I want to discuss something with something or someone. So for instance, if I wanted to provide feedback on team members work and I wanted to discuss that with someone, I would also label it as discuss. At that point, I, um, uh, I, I would get a little icon and I would, for instance, say that I discuss it with someone else. Now let's see, I forgot which people. So for instance, Arturo Sanchez is there. Um, so simply if we do that, oh, Arturo Sanchez, there we go. And then uh, so it's there. Uh, sometimes I also delegate stuff. So in this case, maybe I don't wanna do the invoices myself. In that case, I would tag it as delegated. Uh, it's a similar process. Let's, uh, let's have Arturo do that one too. This way, the task is still in my list, but I can easily see that it's been delegated. I currently do these things using uh, CSS, this red box also, but I'm hoping that eventually it will be natively supported, especially this one, since it could be part of the, the title fields, uh, but currently it's not supported. For now, this works just fine. When I'm done, uh, categorizing everything and uh, making sure everything has the right tags. 
And then usually I finish my weekly plan and I go on to planning my day. My day basically uh, starts by looking at my week plan and deciding, okay, so what am I going to do today? So for instance, if this day I will do the follow-up on team progress against quarterly goals, I would um, uh, I would uh, open it up, I'll go to plant, uh, I would set it for today, and I would go back up and close it up. And now it will actually show up on my day uh, as a planned task, which I'll slow later. So after doing this for a couple of times, for instance, let's encourage team collaboration and do that one too. Um, so we have two tasks planned for today. Then I go to the day and you can see there's a couple of stuff here. One you already recognize, it's the same inbox because sometimes I also wanna see stuff that happens there. I have a spotlight, which I'll go into further detail on my next video about my meetings and I have a work section Again, this is some custom CSS I use in order to make it easy to spot. When I go into the work section, there's a tasks field, which is actually a query. Um, I have to click it twice. Uh, I don't know exactly why, but the first one is to, uh, to uh, expand the, the uh, contextual fields. And the, the second uh, is to actually see the stuff that's in there in the query. Um, why I have a contextual there is because I only also have daily recurring tasks and I simply put them in there. Uh, so now you can see these are the two that are actually scheduled for today and this is my daily one. And that's about it. That's how I do my task management or at least the bulk of it. Um, hopefully in the next meeting I'll show a little bit more on how I manage my meetings uh, and uh, show some more information there. Thank you all.